Mercedes uh, 109 van. Uh, DPF light is on. When I say DPF, I mean the engine management light, as you can see. Um, and it's to do with them two. Uh, their store, their previous top top bad blue. That's not a problem. It's only these two that's causing it. I can happily clear it. However, it will come back due to the suit content. I know the engine is running. It should be like off. However, here, yeah, look, it's come back as that. It's not even deleted it. Like if I even try and turn it off here and do that, sometimes with the engine running, it won't delete it. Here it is, still come back as that current. So what we need to do is come out of this, do a DPF regen. So when you're on the main page, go on hot functions. So after you're on hot functions, go on DPF here. Uh, yes. Here we go. So it gives us the option of, obviously we don't want that because that's just telling the car you've put a new DPF in basically. Or the other option is we do a DPF regeneration while driving. So we'll do that. Well, I'll do this one, reset it and then do that one because currently the car's in limp mode. So to get it out of limp mode, I need to do this and then go on to that. We'll reset this sensor here. Okay. F1. Takes a bit of time. So it's now finished resetting that sensor. Okay. Yep, fair enough, continue. Completed. Now, for instance, if I just come back out of this and go into trouble codes. It says current and stored, so if I can see if we can delete it now, doubt it, but maybe lucky. Still saying current, so what we need to do, go back into there again because the car was put. Click that one, continue. Same stuff, same process. F1, and um, what this will do, we'll reset this, uh, the DPF, which will take it out of limb more basically when we do the regen while driving so um, that's done I'll come back out now and let's just um, go into trouble codes again so instead of it saying current now it says stored because we've reset the DPF so the car now thinks you've put a new DPF on so if I clear it and do this uh, it says no fault stored and if I go out of it and come back on again and show you Oh, no fault. If I turn the car on, as you can see, the engine management light has gone. It will come back on in a bit though. However, before it does, what I need to do is go into here and do this region while driving because that's the way we're going to have to do it, I guess. It says zero, but then again, if you saw earlier, the suit content was bad, hence why the engine light was on. Um, anyway, it says complete because it finished it saying the car is in good shape but we're going to still carry on and do the drive because i know if we leave it for about 10 15 minutes the light will pop back on so as you can see it's going from zero all the way up now to to the kind of suit content that it was in before however i doubt it'll go back to where it were before because we're going to kind of do the regen while driving as said before so we'll see where it ends up and stops at an average so as you can see it's still going up and this is the sort of speed and rev that's where the rev needs to be to kind of kick everything out of the dpf but slowly slowly it'll decrease it'll reach its highest point and then decrease so suit content still going up we're still doing the motorway region um just still trying to reach its highest peak and then it'll go down so as we're doing the regen these two figures are not in the right position because the result is getting back from the sensors is quite high so hopefully the more regen we do the less this will get and it'll go back to normal so he reached 21 grams and now he's working his way down as you can see 20.3 uh, and he'll just keep going down so we reach the highest level so yeah we're keeping it the rev 
between three and a half and doing the normal motorway speed yeah it's still going down which is good news there we are so the regen has finished uh, lights off hasn't come back obviously because it's below 22 grams as soon as it hits 22 that's when the engine light comes on and, and detects a fault as you can see it's still going down because it's uh, kind of free there's a lot of free space now for it to breathe in other words so I've come back out I am going to do another a reset on the uh, DPF uh, yep so if I just turn the ignition off turn it on we'll do that and just say we'll put a new DPF on I'd rather it was at zero then I can be sure everything's done there we go started it'll do so it's done everything completed it happy if we come out of this come out of this and if we go into trouble codes nothing stored because it's not detected anything in the DPF and if I just turn the car on and show you one last time there you go shouldn't be any engine lights or anything like that all perfect.